MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. The Yankees have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Masahiro Tanaka will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a hot pitcher right here. His last three starts, all three, he's picked up wins. And if he can continue that, he should be on his way to winning his fourth in a row. It'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. And here's the speedster, D. Gordon. And we are ready for some daytime off baseball. The afternoon for Seattle, the second baseman, D. Gordon. First pitch on its way. Nope. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Not a second. The designated hitter, Malik. Yeah. So here's Malik Smith in past meetings with Tanaka. He's got three base hits in 17 at bats. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. And this one's nowhere one, close no as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Tanaka has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. Two balls and a strike. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter, working a walk with just one out, and I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And he'll dive back in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Smith leads off first with one away. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. The 0-1 on its way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Here's a look over to first. And he'll be back in standing up. Ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Sliders strike three called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters that have their point. calls go their the way on pitch. close pitches, but Daniel. not this time. I think Hold that was back. actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. 
Dan Vogelbach is next. A pitch out, the throw, and they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out, and the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Bottom of the first straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. Nick Margavichus, an Ohio-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half here of the he goes first. For the Yankees, the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They come into this one in decent form, as despite the loss last time out, they've won six of their last nine. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Danny, I know that's not the execution he was looking for right, the right there. Field. That batter's eyes Aaron. lit up on that pitch. Not a real good yeah. changeup. One of the things, Mark, this pitcher will do, he'll use that changeup like most pitchers will use the curveball. His changeup is that good. That one wasn't, though. Here comes the first pitch. Aaron Judge stands in as he looks at a called strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 0 2 home. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Nobody out, runner on first. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Batting third, the left fielder, Giancarlo Dante. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. And he lays off for ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a little soft liner foul over to the right side and the count will move to one and two now. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Just a bit low tough call but it's two and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Thompson Williams calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Batting four, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar.
Riding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Miguel Andujar. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope, outside. The 1 0. That's ball, too. Andujar tends to exploit left handed pitching. Many hitters are better against opposite handed arms, of course, but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups. And that's in there, 2 and 1. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Two and two. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate get that downward action you even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt ready on two balls and two strikes here it comes a runner on first with two away way inside with that one a pretty easy take there. 3 2, 2 out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. So striding forward for his first opportunity, number 24. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. 1-0. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Ready with the 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. Three and one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. He set the 3 1. Yeah. Two you. down runners at first and second. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. Hmm, it's ball four. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in the game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. First offering on its way. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Bases are loaded here, two down. Nope. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one.
This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Into the box now, Daniel Vogelbeck. There was one for four with the a two bagger in yesterday's Daniel game. Daniel Vogelbeck. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that's off the plate. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. Well, Yankee Stadium, of course, features a number of nods to the great history of the organization and its legendary players, but apparently when you hit 52 home runs as a rookie, you rightfully get your own cheering section built in your name. What a magical year 2017 was for Aaron Judge. The slogan, all rise, fit him perfectly. What's really cool about it was the Yankees weren't even sure he was going to make the team coming out of spring training. He emerged into the scene, was the talk of baseball going into the All-Star break. Finished that off with a powerhouse into the season. One of the best young players the game in baseball has seen in a long time. All rise, Aaron Judge. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Stepping in, Carlos Gonzalez. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Judge is going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. So one got in the inning here with a runner at first. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. He's set. Here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stanton has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting seven. The center fielder, Dom Thompson Williams. Stepping up now, Dom Thompson Williams, as we take a look at the splits between April and May. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Yeah. A ball and a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Hey. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
Mariners leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. To He's set Yankees. to lead off the home half the of the shortstop. second. Glaber Torres. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball one, no play. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up hey. in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting it, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. In now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. Comes in here right at 260. Ten home runs and 21 driven in. One-0 -oh count, here it is. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Number 11 for him on the season. And this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. Man, you could tell by the sound of that one off the bat. That was going a long way. Here's Brett Gardner now. Brett. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's now got a six-game hit and streak. Second home. base, you know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some Love bigger and better Dave things you. right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into what the on? box as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One oh home grounded back up the middle. Gordon is there a bare hand for one on to first a double play. Now batting right fielder Aaron Judge. Digging in for his second at bat Aaron Judge. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost Maddie almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Owen won the count. And the pitch. A swinging strike and now it's 0 2. Hey that's a huge double play to settle everybody down right now. Giving up a few early runs. Let's see if he can get out of this inning and regroup. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. At the ball. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. 
We've played two. It's now 2 nothing New York. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring in Tom Murphy. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And that's in there for strike one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well it's still early but it's also that worth noting that he'd be in the line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league Walker. leaders in games won this season and as you can see there he's part of a flat footed tie for the AL lead. Digging in J.P. Crawford and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the first pitch to him. No nope. fastball here too low. It's one and oh. And this is oh just off God. the outside corner ball two. Hey. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Now here it comes. Seared down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. The batter number nine. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's D. Gordon now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he flied out leading off the ball game. It is put in play to the right side of the infield scooped up throw gets him two down. Now batting, designated hitter, Malik Smith. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Malik Smith, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch. Aye. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Smith, a native Floridian. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level. Nope, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hey. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. Two outs here with a runner at third. Three and two, a full count to the Mariners' designated hitter. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at.
Here comes the payoff pitch. Chopped toward the second baseman. A barehanded play by LeMahieu. What a play. One left for Seattle. They trail things here two to nothing. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Off for the Yankees. The Ready field. for another chance? Giancarlo Stanton as we move on to the Stanton. bottom of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Hey. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit hard on the ground to first. And that is through into right field for a single. Throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, the five hitters hit. to start out an Big inning, hit. but even more so when I'm the three ball. hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. Here's Miguel Andujar now as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. The 0 1 pitch. Ball one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. 50th pitch of the game on its way. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And that is off the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Now batter. Man, they already hit one home run, and I Gary. thought they had a second one right there. Cut Not down. quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right now. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. One, as he'll no take play. a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. The 1 0 delivery. Hey. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Sanchez is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously, a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Now, the 1 and 1 pitch. Ball, Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. No one out with a runner at second. Hard hit ball to short. Crawford fields it cleanly. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Got the plate. Gio Urshela. He's set and the pitch. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Here's the 0-1. Oh, that's out. 
Runner at second here with one man out. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Giving chase is Hediger. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Up next for the Yankees. Not shortstop. Glaver. So a man Torres. at third here with two gone. And that will bring up Glaver Torres. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball Two and oh. Two and oh. The men on third with two down. Had him hacking at the 2 0 change, and it's back to 2 and 1. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. We played three full. It's now three nothing New York. Bye. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 oh and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and no well, smoke by a guy at the letters. Pitcher. That's the ultimate Daniel challenge Daniel. pitching for Vogel me personally. Back. Watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. To the plate now, Daniel Vogelback. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 10 home runs and 25 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. 
Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Well, this is the count. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. He swung on and missed strike three. 1-2-3 go the Mariners. Still down 3-0. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Yankees. Riding in once again. The first point. Baseman. Going back to that last at bat, that's not an easy oh. thing to do to pull a breaking ball on the inside part of the plate and keep it fair for a home run. This guy's got some pretty good bat control. Voigt swings the bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big oh, accomplishment. Right Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Aye. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. It goes to show you, you'll take location over velocity any day. That pitch didn't light up the radar gun, but you can't do anything with that as a batter when it's executed in such a good spot. Line drive to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. The 3 1. He swung on and missed for strike number two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. A runner at second, nobody out. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact.
Payoff pitch one more time. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, some might say now a walk there is okay because you've got base first base open. DJ. But he's been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Mr. Cortez Jr. answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. D.J. LeMayhew will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. From the belt, the pitch. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. First pitch on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Looking at his career totals, Judge has a 280 batting average. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Fastball well outside. Fouled away. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, and a huge strike out there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. That strikeout was now all about it. setting Let's the hitter up with hard stuff. Good you can see the off. first three pitches are coming in fast. Ten, ten. And then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Giancarlo Stanton now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's one for two in this one. The 1-0. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gonzalez retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Yanks strand a pair, but they lead it 3 0. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. All the way up and down the lineup, he said he's seeing swings break down and result in soft contact. He said some of that is pitch selection, some of it is poor swing mechanics, and some of it is a lack of focus. But either way, the message down here is that they need to find ways to make adjustments in the box, guys. Leading All right, thanks, Heidi. Here's the, the third, third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Kyle. He starts off the inning Seager. against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Down the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-2. and two. Oh, 
swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first down. Boy he's really on a roll in the hill right now as we roll through it again remember he struck out the side in the last inning and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Digging in to try it again, Dom Thompson Williams. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now the pitch. Hey. Thompson Williams, an Iowa native. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. One out, nobody on. Ball. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. Swing and a liner, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. At the plate now, Tom Murphy. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. He's in off the plate. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Yeah. Two balls and a strike. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Now the 2-1. This is on the ground over to first. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. They trail it here three to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up Miguel Andujar, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now and this is not an Look easy Kendrick. play where you have to Gary. range to your right. He really didn't have a Kendrick. chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. In his career, Sanchez is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously, a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Off speed pitch just missed inside. One out, nobody on. Two and one after the foul ball there. Now the pitch. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. 
Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, number according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope. The fastball oh. here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Now the 1 0 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Three and 0 now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Two out, nobody on. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hanniger in pursuit. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every Go hitting coach red. teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched, and he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely, and it bounces over for a ground rule double. So now to the plate, Torres, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, yeah. gets him, and the side is retired. Danger averted following the two-out double. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Crawford, a 25-year-old. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Didn't mess around much the in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Standing in now, D. Gordon. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Now batter, the designated hitter, Malik Smith. At the plate, Malik Smith. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So now with two away, the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. Up next, you take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Stepping in now, Mitch Hanniger, as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. Pitch out. Nothing doing.
Now a throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. The 2 0 on the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The batter, well, Debro, that the looked like paper. a pretty easy inning to start. Game All goal. of a sudden, two outs Hold and back-to-back -back -back singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on him. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases, or are you just trying to execute that next pitch? You know what happens a lot of times, Debro? You lose concentration. You get the first two out in the inning. You think, hey, I'm going to breeze through this and get this third guy out. Next thing you know, first and third and two out you have to make some good pitches the 1 0 home is laid off but in there for strike one man the Mariners have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game long it remains to be seen if they can get it but now sure would be a great time he set. here comes the 1 1 well hit the other way and it's into the gap One run will score easily. Here's the second runner around third. And he's safe at the plate. And the deficit is down to only one now. You simply cannot offer up a pitch now like this to a hitter of oh, this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Into the box, Carlos Gonzalez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Hit back up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Yankees three and the Mariners two. Now with the plate, Luke Voigt will have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Standing in, Brett Gardner. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. The batter, the second baseman, DJ. Two away now Love in the Yankees Mayhew. sixth. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. First pitch on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. Three twos our score here in inning number six. That evens it up one and one. Now here it comes. Nope, outside. Pops this one up. Gordon ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. 
Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees lead this one three to two. Standing in, Kyle Seager, who flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Two balls and a strike. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Torres scoops it up, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number now seven. The center fielder, Dom. Now at the plate, Thompson Dom Thompson Williams. Williams. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two balls and no strikes. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. The catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. Settling in now, Tom Murphy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. A very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Boy, and he's turned things around from that last inning as this pitch is swung on and missed. It's 0 and 2 now. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The one-two. Oh, well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch. Hit down the line at first. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. He's around first, heading for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, man. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it would be a no decision if that run comes now across to score. To New York Number so they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. At the plate, J.P. Crawford, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Britain, 
a 32 year old veteran he was selected in the third round or in the first year player draft of 2006. Yeah Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name and kids are buying his jerseys. Popped him up. LeMahieu is there. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Ladies and gentlemen, Mariners leave one. Still a 3-2 ball game. Correct. Digging in, Aaron Judge. He could really he use a Lord knock here. Yankees. 0 for 3 in the game the right so field. far. Aaron Judge. Here comes the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Henniger. One out. Now batting, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Digging in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. Well, he awesome hit that ball on the screws. One and oh, the count. And right into the shift, there is Seeger. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Now in the box, Miguel Andujar. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot here to left center field. Sixth home run on the season for him. And it'll give the Yankees a 4 to 2 lead. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. Now batting. In now, Gary Sanchez. Gary! As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0 home. Ball that time. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2 0. It's the outside corner, strike one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now the 2-1 pitch. Two out, nobody on. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 4-2 to two, New York. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Ready to begin the eighth. So back to the top of the, the Seattle lineup. Digging in, D. Gordon. Gordon. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. 
even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Barehanded, he's out. he's out. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting now aboard. Back. Well, he was planning that before now he even got in the box, yeah. and he got it down, but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. Next will be the designated hitter, Malik Smith. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Smith brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Oh, one pitch on its way. Ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Green. A right hander standing six foot three. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was my hats off to him. Fouled off. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. He's got to hurry. Got Throw gets him two down. And that is what you're going to get when you've got a right flamethrower coming out of the bullpen. And when you're late on a fastball and you make contact below the label, all of a sudden, you're holding some new firewood. Digging in, Mitch Henniger. He's working on a one for three thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. And there's ball one. One and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, one, one, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Now the pitch. Oh, that pitch is out. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it misses oh, three and one now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The three and one pitch. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Three and two. one misses high for ball four and they have themselves a two out base runner up next for Seattle the first baseman Daniel so here's the Vogelback. cleanup hitter Daniel Vogelback he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here yeah give me a repeat performance of that last double with a man on first right now let him run and get you a ribby from the belt the pitch First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare, almost unhittable. Nasty downward action, high 80s velocity. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here.
A two run blast to straight away right field as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Now batting, the left fielder, Carlos Gonzalez. To the plate now, Carlos Gonzalez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the 0 and 1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Two out, nobody on. Hey. The ball and two strikes. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. From the stretch, the 1 2. All two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Mariners get a couple in the inning on the two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. All even now at four apiece. Your Dan Altavia is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom Dan. half of the eighth. Number 53, Dan Altavilla. In now is the Yankees DH. Gio Urshela. He'll start things out the here in a tie hitter. ball game. Number 29. Here's the pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Line toward right center, and there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard, representing the potential go-ahead run. Dan, this now guy's on fire. He used to off. say all the time, Wait, it's about bro. 150 ADs to so 200 bad. ADs. Where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in he's May and he's on fire. Dero, he's been locked in from Number day 14. one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it. And he continues to hit line runs. And there he goes towards second. In there. Now the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. It's not easy to steal on a catcher that has a good arm. But he did just that and beats that throw at the second base. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Boom goes the dynamite. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as they've taken a two-run lead. Point. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? 
Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Now the 2 1. Swing and a liner, but foul. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. So that'll go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Gardner. Digging in now, Brett Gardner. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Comes set, and the 0-1. Called strike two with the letters, 0-2 now. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well-executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Now another 0-2. Hit back toward the mound. Crawford has it. He'll go to the bag for one. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was now, enough man. to beat the throw. The second base After base. fielding this one he clearly, did. you see he tries to Love take it himself at second base, but they just can't turn the double play. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, D.J. LeMayhew. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Ball left outside. Runners on first with one down. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. <laughs> to two balls and two strikes now. Rounded to the right. A diving effort as it's off his glove. Oh, behind the back. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judd. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Mariners at 6-4 New York. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 54, Aroldis. 
Chapman. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kyle Seeger. He was a ground out victim last time up. Kyle. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. No balls in one strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all, all around the strike zone. The and then what do you do? You come the in. That's a hard pitch really for well. any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Stepping in now, Dom Thompson Williams. And he hits it hard to the right side. Mayhew's got it, and the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The Good range shown off into the oh. hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. So striding in, Tom Murphy. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level, so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Oh and 1 count, and the pitch. That's Sinker, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Drilled to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Six to four, the outcome today. New York came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Chad Green earns his third win of the year in relief. Aroldis Chapman records the save, his 10th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.